Okay, I got a snow blower in, Troy built. I'm gonna have to change the carburetor in it, which is down right here. So you gotta take this shield off, a lot of stuff. All right, these bolts for here are all 10 millimeters. Two of them back here. You gotta take off this plastic shield. What's that plastic shield is this you gotta take off, which there's a bolt on this side. And there's a bolt down there. So I'm gonna be taking them off there around 10 millimeters. Just slip something out. All that does is cover your belt and your pulleys. And this bolt. Came from right here. Okay, next I'm going to take off the choke. The throttle and there's two more bolts that's right here take this off and that just comes right off unhook your wires back here free switch unhook your primer hose And these are 10 millimeters down here. I don't know if you can see them or not. Probably not. These two right here. Now before you take this all the way off, it goes, lingers around, comes, and goes on this side of the plug-in, which this screw right here is what holds that in place. You want to take that one off. That's the only one you have to. And then that comes out. All right. Kind of difficult there to work with it. It's plastic, so it's a little bit forgivable. Just don't break it. And right here it's off. Okay, I'm gonna take that gasket off. Now this, you gotta pull it out and turn it, and it comes out. Okay. Just remember which how you took it off, so when you take put it back on, you know how to do it. My best bet is when I first started is I started taking pictures of things, so I don't forget. And this doesn't have a fuel shut off, so I have to get my my little plier deals that locks in to shut the fuel off. So I can get the gas line off.
And it could be a bear. <sighs> okay, that's off. And I do have the new carburetor. This one's all seized up. I can't move the bar flight. And she's all, all the needles and all that is all seized up. So that's why I ordered a new one. It's right here. Oh yeah, and your governor rod, all you gotta do is turn that so much and your governor rod will come popping back out. Make sure you take your little spring out. Right here, right here's your rod. Okay, make sure you put your gasket on there to go in between the motor and the carburetor. Sometimes it's easier to just put the gasket on first. On the two, two shafts there. And your carburetor. Okay. Now this is what I was telling you. Uh, let me get you a little bit better view. This is right here. Your governor rod. Get it down in there. It turns. It's good. Put your little spring in the hole right here. And that's all set. Put your gas line back on. Don't forget to put your clamp back on your gas line or your gas line leak. All right, new carburetor, so I need to make sure I put my new hose for your primer. Make sure you put your clips on it too. And whenever I order my carburetor, I make sure I get all the other accessory stuff with it too. It ain't much more. Mine came with the primer button too, which I'm changing out, which I'll show you. All right, that can be pushed back. Put your other gasket on. And be really careful with your gaskets. They are very flimsy where they, they're easily to break. Take off the shut off. Okay. Primer ball, ball, ball. Let's see, this one's collapsing. It still worked, but since I got the new one, I'm changing it out. So you gotta turn it over, and there's two clips. One here, one there. I'll take, I take my needle nose, or any kind of pliers. That will work. Kind of squeeze and push down. Comes right out on both sides. The other one. Your new one, put it on there, and usually you just give push really hard and it snaps in. Hear it, and it's in. Okay, I'm gonna put the choke right on. Put my choke rod on. And then that bracket. Okay. 
All right, put your gasket on this one. And then put that plastic piece back in. Like I said, it may be a little bit of a bear. You gotta fight everything in place. Make sure you get your, there's a vacuum hose that's right here. Make sure it goes on the, on your plastic part. Kinda hard. You gotta really work with it. Make sure your hoses and your wires are on this little gap right here. You'll put that on. And put your little your nuts back on. So it stays in place. Make sure your choke. Make sure that's sticking through. Okay. Now, if you know if your vacuum line's on there, which mine is, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the bolt on the nuts down. I strongly suggest you don't use an impact when you're doing that. Everybody tells me I shouldn't, but I do. I know when to stop. I know my impact. All right, now your primer hose. Mine's a little long, so I'm gonna pre-cut it. Make sure you don't cut it too short. It's too long, it's okay. When you cut it, put it on the primer. And, and on our side, you got to put all that back together, fight it in place. Make sure it lines up. I missed. Make sure you line everything up before you tighten it up or anything. It's all lined up. Okay, I'm gonna put my throttle back on, which I gotta look to see which way that looks. Make sure it goes on this. Which to see what face, the two legs will face down. It's popped in there. Next, your choke. Make sure you push that in. That all works. Don't forget about your wires. It goes for your kill switch. There on. Okay, before I go any farther, I'm gonna start see if it start up. 
Use the three primes. Put a choke on. Okay, we're gonna put this top shield back on. You don't wanna run it too long, so that muffler gets hot and then you get burnt. So just for warning you, that it's probably warm. Do it that way. Put them short ones in the wrong spot. It helps to remember where you put it, where everything goes. Short ones go on this side, it's against the gas tank. You know, I got a ratcheting wrench on this side. It's in all these are all tens. So you want to make sure you put them in, tighten them up. Using a ratcheting wrench or whatever you got. It's gonna make your life easier. Yeah, I'm gonna finish tightening these down. Ready two over here. Next, that plastic shroud. And I'm trying to get the best videos, but it's just turn it like that, push down in there, and just pretty much sets there. Line your bolts, holes up, put your bolts in. Both sides, and tighten them down. And that's it. It's all back together. Runs ready for the snow now. Thanks for watching.